Hello, welcome to Milo on the Ready. Um, just got a new knife. I was going to do a whole unpackaging thing, and well, after I got it, well, I just got a little too excited and opened the package before uh, shooting some video. But this is the Browning Outdoorsman Camp Knife. Uh, it's got about a six, six and a half inch blade, full tang knife. Uh, it's made in China. Shame on you, Browning. Um, but we're going to find out uh, how well it works and uh, see what it does. So stick around. Welcome back. So, again, we have the Browning. Outdoorsman camp knife. Uh, it doesn't have a rubberized handle. It's got a kind of a scaly feeling handle. It is comfortable though. Uh, it does fit well in the hand and it does appear to have a good sharp blade on it. And as we can see with cordage, it goes right through it. So the next thing is the tonic. Have a knife you can't baton with. right now. going through that knot, it still did quite a good job. And we'll make one more piece. full of knots. Wow, jeez. Let's try it from the other side. We can definitely make kindling with it. So next, it's the chop. Ah, well. And it's got a dink against it already. It's actually got a bend in it.
So, we can see that it chops very well. That was the Gerber there that we did last time. And then this is the browning. But, and I hope you can see it, right there, right there on the blade, and it's got a little bit of a bend in it. So not as strong as the Gerber. Again, made in China. Um, take quite a bit to get that out. So, not impressed with it. I just don't feel it's going to last as long as it should. And not that impressed with browning now, especially with their knives. So, we're going to take it back home and see if it retained its edge other than that spot. Um, yeah. Definitely would not carry. This is a primary knife. Sure does look nice, but it, it took some damage. So, be right back with you inside. So since it was a little difficult to see that bend in the blade um, while I was out in the field, um, here's a close-up picture of it once I got home. I just wanted to see, you know, I couldn't believe it actually did that, but it was, you know, so what can we expect? Okay, so as you can see, I'm not impressed with the the Browning Outdoorsman Camp Knife. Um, I guess one of the reasons why you never just go shopping for knives based on the name. Uh, find out where they're made. Find out what material is used. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get that replaced, but it's right now I'm just really not impressed with it in any way. Um, of course, I'll stick with my Gerber because I know it will hold up. I know this has gone through knots before and not taken any damage. So, so yes, get yourself a good quality U.S. made knife if you can. Um, they're out there. Uh, Gerber like, makes a lot of them. Um, pretty sure I might just hang that browning knife up on the, the wall of shame. It's, it's growing. So, uh, thank you for watching today. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon. Get notified when we come out with uh, new content. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Okay, normally I would have done the uh, tomato cut to show the blade retention, but instead um, I just decided to hang it on the wall of shame with the other two knives. Uh, the one I broke in the kindling video, and then of course the uh, Nebo Smart Knife Plus. Um, hopefully we don't add too much more to this wall, but you never know. It could happen at any time.